This is the first video solution for a left-hand Riemann sum example. Our example comes from the function f of x is equal to x squared plus 1. The integral would look like this. The integral from 0 to 2 of x squared plus 1 dx. Your interval is from 0 to 2 as indicated by the limits of integration. We want to find the length of a left-hand or pardon me, the left-hand approximation on the interval x equals 0 to 2 for f of x equals x squared plus 1 with four rectangles. Here's what the picture would look like. So I have units on the base are going to be one half, so there's one, here's two, and then f of zero is one, f of one is two, f of two is five. There's our curve. Okay, we need to first of all find out what our delta x is. Our delta x is b minus a over n. B and A are the endpoints of the interval, which 2 minus 0 over the number of rectangles we want are 4. So the width of each rectangle is 1 half. I'm going to draw those rectangles in here and so my first rectangle height is at f of 0, then I go over, next height, next width, Okay. Okay, so the area is our delta x times the initial value for left hand, so f of 0 plus f of add delta x to 0, which is 1 half, so f of 1 half. Add another half, so that's 1. Add another half, and your final endpoint there is 3 halves. So the area is 1 half the sum of f of 0, which is 1, plus f of a half, which is 5 fourths, plus f of 1, which is um, 2, plus f of 3 halves, which is 13 fourths. And to sum that all up, that's 4 plus 5 plus 8 plus 13, all over 4, which is 1 half times 30 fourths, which is 15 halves, square units. Notice that the left-hand approximation here is going to be an underestimate because we have these pieces here which are missing as far as the area for underneath the curve. So in this case, a left-hand Riemann sum is an under-approximation. Now go to the next video solution to find a right-hand Riemann sum approximation.